What are you waiting for? You know, this morning, as I was thinking of all the things I am waiting for, the Lord downloaded this into my spirit. Barbara, you're always going to be waiting for something. So why don't you, in the meantime, stop thinking about what you're waiting for and just start enjoying life. You know, children of God, God wants us to enjoy our life. I remember watching a movie called The Soul Surfer. It's a true story about a young lady in Hawaii that was a surfer, that her arm, you know, was bitten off. But yet she still competed because she was that good. And I think she got third or fourth place, I can't remember, at, at, you know, at the competition. She was just a young girl, maybe 17. And I remember at the end of the movie, she looked at her mom after she won and she said, what do I do now? And her mom said this to her. And this so resonated in my spirit. I felt like God was saying this to me. You enjoy it, all of it, for the rest of your life. Now, God did not put us here on earth to be miserable until we get to heaven. Just think about it. We will always be waiting for something. I can't be happy until I get a spouse. I can't be happy till I lose 50 pounds. I can't be happy till I get the job I want. Children of God, we need to stop that. As God was telling me this morning, or like I said, he just downloaded this into my spirit. You will always be waiting for something. Stop looking at what you're waiting for. And enjoy life. Enjoy me. You know, the Bible says, delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Children of God, you know, I just, this just came to my mind, so I'm going to share it with you. I remember being a young girl, I think maybe 12, and I babysat a lot. And I, you know, I, I earned money. And I remember I was saving up for this, they called it a, a cassette recorder. Do you remember that? The kind, you know, it actually had a leather handle. I could carry it with me. It was, it looked like a shoebox, as big as a shoebox. It was called a cassette recorder. And I remember, if, if I remember correctly, even though it sounds like a lot when I was 12, I thought it was $42. And I remember saving my babysitting money. I was so excited when I bought it, I was afraid to touch it. And I remember maybe a year or two later, I remember looking at it at the top of my closet and I sort of forgot about it. And I thought that thing made me so over the top happy at one time. And now it's just another thing in my stuff. I don't know. It just really got me thinking, what are you waiting for? Don't be, wait until, uh, to be happy until you get what you're waiting for. Be happy now. Enjoy your blessings now. I remember just a few months ago talking to God about this, the status of our country and just getting upset. Lord, come fix this, right? And he says, Barb, what are you worried about? You, are, you have been blessed coming in and blessed going out. And you are going to be continuing to, I'm going to continue to bless you coming in and coming out. It doesn't matter what's going on in your world. Give it to God. Do what he tells you to do. And then enjoy your life.